Welcome back. Hopefully you have successfully downloaded Picasa 3.8 and now I'm going to show you how to create a digital layout or collage um, using this free program from Google. Here is on the left is where Picasa is reading your hard drive and if you click on these little tabs it's going to pull down folders. The default is that it's going to be organized per year. So here's uh, 2010, October 2010, November. So that's great. If you want to look at your folders a different way, you can click on this little tab up top for more of a tree structure. So I can say, okay, I want to see everything on my desktop or in my downloads or in my pictures. And I kind of like the tree structure a little bit better because um, what I'm working with today, I've already pulled onto my desktop. Um, one other great little feature is for those of you that might um, be worried about resolution, uh, most of you know that when you look at your computer, the photo will look great, um, but it doesn't always print that way. So with Picasa, you can actually look at your photo, and I can go up to View, Properties, and over here on the right, it's going to tell me that this photo here is 4,288 by 2,848 pixels. That is going to be um, a great image to print. Okay, I'm going to go back to our library here and back to my desktop. So in the last uh, tutorial, I was showing you how I had already pre-made these um, pages from Cynthia Lusmore. I'm going to go back into my library and I'm going to find Cynthia Lusmore's holiday cheer kit that I've purchased. She's a designer at O Scraps. And here's those same papers that I used in Photoshop to create those layouts. But I think now I'm going to make my collage. So I'm going to click on the pages I want. On here, when you click and hold, and these are highlighted, it's going to hold it down in the tray. Now, once you move to another folder, it will clear those unless you click this little hold select items um, with this little thumbtack. So I'm going to hold those, and now there's little green dots showing that those are held for us in our tray. Now, unfortunately, Picasa doesn't... Um, it won't allow importing of PNG files, which are these where there's a transparent background yet. Um, we've emailed Google to see if that could be something that um, could possibly happen with their next upgrade. So right now we're working with JPEGs, which papers are. So we can, I'm going to grab this page, maybe a red one, and I'm going to hold that down in my tray. Perfect. Now I'm going to go and find my pictures from Christmas and find um, maybe some of my favorites that I want to add to my scrapbook. That one. And again, we're going to hold the command button. Okay, so I have all of the images that I need down here in my tray. Now, I'm going to go over here and click Collage. And this is what Picasso just does automatically. Here's how you can change your collage. Over here on the left, under the Settings tab, you have these collage options. Picture Pile, Mosaic, Frame Mosaic, which is what it's at right now, a Grid. Here, let me just show you. There's mosaic. Frame mosaic is where it's framing one main picture and you can slide these around and choose which one you might want. We have grid, contact sheet I usually don't use and the multiple exposure which superimposes pictures over one another I don't use either. So picture pile is the only one that you can actually take your JPEGs and move them where you want. So that takes a little bit more time. You can um, Click on your paper, set as background. Um, reorganize your pictures, make them um, smaller and bigger. And that's picture pile. But to save time today, I'm just going to show you Mosaic, just a general collage. Grid spacing, you're gonna wanna pull your grid and this makes the little grid lines so that it looks more like a collage. And of course, the more you pull over to the right, the bigger the grid gets. Now, if you're just going to print your collage like this without laying it on a background, like I'll show you um, in our next step, you want to make sure the grid lines are thick enough to where we can print that um, and have somewhat of a bleed area. So I'd almost go halfway between the half and the full mark. Um, maybe even almost to the max, just so that we can um, 
print this and still have some sort of a white border around the edge. Okay, you can use an image for your background color if you want for your grid. Um, or you can change the actual color of the grid as well. I'm just going to keep it white. Now here, it's this is important, you're going to have page format. And you can make this collage a by 6. You can make it an, an 8 by 10. Whatever you want to do, but right now I'm going to do a 12 by 12. And I believe I set that as a custom aspect ratio for myself. So you would click on custom aspect ratios and you would make your own right here size. So I would say 12 by 12 and you can name it what you would like and you would click OK and then that is in um, your drop down. Now I have multiples of those as a format option. You can add drop shadows, um, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to read, now I'm going to organize my collage. So I've set my mosaic. Um, I can now just move pictures around. Now sometimes you might feel like, well, I think I have too much going on. I need to delete something. I want this picture to go up here. We're going to click shuffle pictures. Maybe I'll move this paper out. So I'm going to right click and hit remove. Now it reorganized my collage for me and it's also pulling into clips. So we have settings, we have clips. Actually make my grid a little bit smaller. Okay, now I'm going to choose create. You see down here, it's adding it um, to your hard drive. So it's also going to read that as an image. Okay, so our collage has been completed. And if you're wondering where it is, down here on the right, Picasso will show you, it says collage finished, click to view. You can click that, here's our collage. We can now add some text, change the lighting a little bit, um, add some contrast, fine tune some things. Now remember, since this is a flattened file, when you fine tune things and add contrast and light um, adjustments, it's doing it to the whole image. And this is what we do at Persnickety Prints as well. We can adjust your photos, but it's really important if you have a darker photo than the rest to maybe edit that before you add it to the, your collage. Okay, I'm going to add text. I'm gonna click the text button. And you'll see here this little text box. And it's going to let me just start typing but I want my text to be up here in this box. The great thing also about Picasso is you can use your own fonts from your computer. So I'm gonna type Christmas 2010. Move it over. Over here, I'm going to choose um, a font. And the great thing too is if you hover over your fonts, it's changing that for you over here, you can see kind of what uh, that font will look like. So maybe I'll choose that one, just to be quick here. I'll center it. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change the color. And again, you can see the color changing over there as you hover over the different colors. Or I can even color pick a color. So I'm gonna color pick that green. I'm going to apply, center that up, and I'm done. You'll find your collage under Projects, Collages, and there it is. That concludes our tutorial on how to make a basic collage in Picasa. Our next segment will show you how you can make uh, your collage and add a background paper.